free to the front way to take off and and it what energy what hey guys here's the channel's video schedule wednesdays will be booster packs or more saturdays will be collection boxes or tins and there may be possible videos in between the week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can follow along with the channel to see what happens thanks for watching full disclosure this video is not intended to cause a witch hunt it is simply here to call out the bullshit of certain channels and people who do fake giveaways and other things as tactics to gain subscribers for their channels. Now I was kind of debating on making this video or not for many reasons, uh, mostly backlash and stuff like that. However, it's very annoying to see people within the community that we are in to do with Pokemon cards and they're taking advantage of people's naivety to promote themselves. It's very scummy and it's a stupid thing to do. Purely basing this speculation of this video on another channel that I saw who spontaneously opened a Hidden Fates booster pack and pulled a God packet. Now not only did they pull a God packet for Hidden Fates, which by the way is impossible, uh, I'll get to that later, uh, they also pulled the Charizard in that video, the, the Shining Charizard, prior to apparently giving one away to their fans. A quick Google search will show that this guy is the only person ever to have opened one of these. Back to Hidden Fates. What can we get? What can we get? There's a code. One, two, three, four to the front. And... Okay... Uh... Uh, I don't even know. Uh, my heart is beating so hard. I don't like and rock GX. Dude, I wish there was someone here with me right now. Oh my god, I'm shaking like. Dude, my my heart is up in my throat. This is fr no. Oh. Oh, dude, I'm, what, Char? Again, either this guy is the luckiest person on the planet, or by fault, the unluckiest person, because it's a misprint in that sense. However, it's just absolutely bullshit. It's not true, and people need to stop believing this. Now, it's clearly obvious that it's faked. Anybody with a fully functional brain will be able to understand that. I don't mean that offensively to the people that fell for it, it's just the simple facts. Now, the God Packet. The, what is the God Packet? The God Packet is a packet that contains a single entire set of ultra rares. Note the point in fact that it also contains an ultra rare energy as that was part of the set. Now, God Packets do not exist in England or in the English variant of the TCG. The Japanese Pokemon trading card game and the English trading card game are done by two entirely different manufacturers, so there is no line where this can connect. It just, just, it just simply does not exist in English yet. You cannot get it. Now, the God Packets themselves, they are only existing in Japan. They only exist within the Japanese set Tag Team All-Stars. They do not exist in Hidden Fates, they do not ex exist in Cosmic Eclipse, they do not exist in anything before Tag All-Stars was released because Tag All-Stars is a current set that was released after these sets. Hidden Fates did not have a printing run that extended past the point of Tag All-Stars. They printed a set amount of cards as they do for every set in the English TCG and they do not print them again. They only print a specific amount to sit the sales mark. The only cards where they have printed they have previously printed extended periods for is Steam Siege Breakpoint and Breakthrough. They were to promote Pokemon Go. They are incredibly mass produced. That is why we still get them in sets today. You know, it's very, very easy to fake a booster pack opening. Very easily. Especially behind camera. Like, you know, actually, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it with this one. Because, you know, Burning Shadows. Ooh, I love Burning Shadows. Oh, this is a brand new packet. Oh, code card. Here's your code card, guys. Oh, we'll do uh, free to the front. Way to take off and edit. What? 
energy cut. What? Oh, oh man. Oh, I'm literally shaking, guys. This. How did? How did this happen? We have Machamp, Marshadow, Alolan Muck, two Rainbow Rares. Oh, they're all full arts, guys. And we got. Oh man. Whoa. So. Point, point case proven, it's very easy. Here are code cards by the way, they are actually still working. Point case and proven, it's very easy to fake a booster pack opening. Now the, the thing that I hate the most about this kind of thing is simply that people fall for it. It's a really scummy thing to do and if you, if you go out there and you think, oh I'm gonna do this today because I'm gonna get popular from it, it's just stupid. You, did, you don't do these things in an attempt to make money from YouTube. Most people do this because they enjoy doing it. It's, really, it's a really stupid thing to do when there are people in this community who aren't actually children and they do understand how the trading card game concept works and how the booster packets work. This is a very different video from what I, was, what I normally do of course, but I just kind of needed to get this out because it's something I've been thinking about for a while now. Um, I still get notifications from this guy loving and unloving my comment that I left on his channel calling him out for his bullshit which is kind of sad because it's an attempt at getting me to come back to his video <laughs> however now that I've done this video he's probably gonna if anyone even watches this they're probably gonna get picked up on for that same reason and again that's another sad thing because this also kind of works to his advantage but I still kind of needed to get it out of there because I want I kind of would like people in our community to stop falling for this kind of crap. Now this isn't to say that this can't actually happen, it 100% can, however the odds of you actually having this kind of factory error within your booster packets is so 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 unlikely to the point where you'd have more of a chance of winning the real lottery than this happening. As shitty as the Pokemon company are with their quality production, they do still have a weight check on their machines which will evaluate if the machine is pumping out the right amount of product or not. So it's just another, there's too many plot holes in this guy's video for it to be a real thing and it's just sad that people are falling for it. Now I don't mean this video in any way, form or shape of witch hunting this guy down and you know bullying him and all of that crap because it's not what it is, it's more of a calling out the bullshit that it is and it is bullshit. There is no no way of getting around this because there are people in this community who do know and have been collecting the cards for a very long time who do know how things work and it's just sad but yeah thanks for watching i hope this was a bit informative on some people and you know now you're woke peace